Welcome. Hi everyone, this is Julie Geigel. I am an international psychic medium, trance channel for Archangel Metatron, and awakened healer. And this is Wake Up Wednesdays. And today we are talking about mental health. Are you going mad? No, <laughs> I'm here to tell you, you are not. Um, but, but, you are probably experiencing a beautiful spiritual awakening. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Spiritual awakening versus mental illness. And uh, we are just going to dive right in this morning into a beautiful healing. I have uh, three things for you today. As always, we have the beautiful healing that we open up with, with our crystal bed. And then we have a talk. I'll be talking about mental illness versus spiritual awakening. And then we will close with a psychic reading. It is a special bonus. I love to offer my live audience. So be sure to hang in there till the end at about 20 after or so. We will be doing a free psychic reading. So thank you so much for joining us here this morning, for liking and loving our video and sharing that in your news feed. All right, so we are going to do a beautiful healing right now because I know we need that. <laughs> we need that. The planet needs that. Everybody needs that, especially in light of what happened yesterday. We're going to send special blessings to... Manchester, England, and all of the people that are experiencing or connected to those events that are going on there. And so what I'm going to have you do is rub your hands together because what this does is it activates our universal life force energy field. And when you rub your hands together, it opens up this beautiful, beautiful healing vortex. And thank you so much, Carol and Michelle, for joining us here this morning. We love, love to see you each week. Um, blessings for your love and support. So if you've come here today, please post your first name in the feed and uh, what state you're in, or if there's specific healing that you desire today. It can be physical healing, mental, emotional healing, or physical, mental, emotional, oh, spiritual, <laughs> there's three, uh, spiritual healing. So whatever you desire today, go ahead and post that in our news feed, and uh, we will uh, definitely send you a special shout out, a special blessings of love and light for that specific healing. All right, so we've rubbed our hands together uh, to activate that energy. You can feel your hands nice and warm and tingly. Awesome, awesome. And now I'm going to share the crystal bed with you. The crystal bed is going right now. The beautiful lights and crystals are sending a blessing of healing and love to you right now as we speak. So what happens with the crystal bed, if you're new here, is that it is cleansing, clearing, and releasing each and every chakra center Oftentimes our chakras get clogged with uh, lower energies, with our thoughts, uh, negative thinking, that ego mental madness, uh, physical things that are happening in our life can block and interfere with our chakras being clear and running in perfect perfection. And so today you're getting a beautiful cleansing with these uh, crystal bed lights. And let me share those with you because they are glorious. So I want you to imagine right now, I want you to imagine lying underneath these lights. There's a pillow for your head. And I want you to just imagine absorbing this beautiful energy into each and every cell of your body. And just feel that energy, that love, our circle is increasing. Feel that love and light moving through your whole body as we come together here 
to create a beautiful healing vortex for the world, for the whole world. So we're going to start with yourself again, cleansing, clearing, and releasing on those chakra centers in your body. Uh, so they are working in perfect harmony with your whole being. And then we're going to take your hands and place them wherever you need help on your body, wherever you need healing on your body. If you can't reach that place you need healing right now, just place them palms down on your thighs and imagine this light because you are now connected to this crystal bed and you have engaged and accessed the powerful healing energy of this magnificent instrument that is straight from Brazil. I purchased this. I went to Brazil and got this <laughs> and brought it home to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And now you can feel the healing. You can access this beautiful energy simply by tuning into us here right now. So you've connected to the energy. You've placed your hands on your thighs or wherever on your body needs healing right now. And we'll all come together in this beautiful sacred circle to help each other heal. Go ahead and put your name and whatever healing you desire in our newsfeed so that we can send you special blessings of love and light. And if you have time to go through and like all of those requests, that increases our vibration together. It adds power and energy. When you know someone is there rooting for you, it makes a difference in your life. And I want you to know I'm here right now rooting for you. I'm here right now praying for you. We have all come together to be prayer warriors. And we're sending special healing to Sandra for her cheek and her tooth. Sending a beam of light to you, Sandra. All right, now we're going to extend this healing out. I want you to imagine us all standing in a circle, and I want you to invite your loved ones, your family members, whoever needs special blessings and healings today. Thank you, Ascending Hearts, for joining us this morning. And I want you to send them love and light. You have power. You have power as you come here. We're all connected in this incredible, incredibly high frequency of love and light and healing and we can affect our loved ones with this light that's where our power lies in shining our light and so just imagine your love and your energy your beautiful blessings moving into each and every person in your family and imagine them opening their heart to receive these blessings from you this beautiful circle of healing. Oh, it just feels so amazing. <laughs> I can feel it. Oh, look at all those love bubbles. Thank you so much, everyone. Wow, <laughs> it is like fireworks here. Awesome. And Maggie, we're sending blessings to your parents and your children. Oh, perfect. This is unbelievable. Now what I want you to do, we're going to send a special heal, a beam of light. So imagine being that lighthouse and sending a beautiful beam of light to Manchester, England. And all of those connected to that event yesterday. Or the night before, I believe it, happened. it actually occurred the night before. So tune in, light workers. We need you right now. We need your strength. We need your power, your glory, your grace. We can change the world here, right now. We're changing. We're, we are affecting people in a positive, beautiful, amazing way right now. And so just feel that love and healing light. I loved a post that uh, someone had written on the the candles and prayers that they they had the vigil in Manchester England someone wrote uh, we are grieving but we are strong 
and feel the strength and power as we come together to pray for Manchester, England. It is just an amazing, beautiful thing that we can do here right now. All right. Okay. So we're just going to shake our hands, clap, disconnect that energy, and as you think about people during the day, as you think about different events during the day, they are calling to your soul for healing, for blessings, for love and light. So just imagine being that lighthouse all day long for people in your life, for people, for events and situations. You are being called. You're being called to a higher order. You, you're being called to step up and help. And so thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us here today. All right, we are going to just take a minute to talk about our classes that we're teaching over on Ohm Times. And uh, you can find out more information about my classes specifically at experts.ohmtimes.com forward slash Julie Geigel. And that is posted in our uh, description up above. We have a class coming up called Brain Harmony. And I'm telling you, this class is really, really amazing. It is a group hypnosis experience. If you've never experienced hypnosis, this is a perfect opportunity for you. I am a certified clinical hypnotherapist, and this is actually a medical script. So it gets a little bit deeper into uh, the workings of your mind, the workings of your body. What this class is designed to do is clear out any negative energy in your life. So whether it's uh, something you've picked up um, from someone else or just the energy in our, on our planet right now that you, you're picking up on and you just need some cleansing, you need some clearing, uh, you want to uh, kind of hit that uh, reset button and go back to zero, this is the perfect class for you. It's called Brain Harmony, and we do have a 20% discount for our beautiful audience here on Ohm Times Magazine. So I will be posting that after the show. If someone would like to post that for me in the news feed, that would be awesome. It is a 20% discount code, and the code number is uh, TK. TK. Q Y L U six G two five zero. And if one of my lovelies would like to post that for me in the news feed, that would be awesome. Again, it's 20% off our classes. T K Q Y L U six G two five zero. And I will be posting that, or uh, Leanne, who uh, helps me host this here in the background, uh, she'll post that for us. It's 20% off that class, Brain Harmony. It is coming up right around the corner, June 15th. We're going to do that in the morning. We're going to try morning time, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And, oh, thank you, Nisreen, um, for posting that discount co code. Yes, TK. QYLU6G. Yep, you got that right. And that's 20% off this class just for our amazing, amazing uh, audience, live audience here. All right. And thank you so much for all those likes and loves. It really does help keep this energy high and it helps us spread our uh, word far and wide. All right. Don't forget, we also host uh, an awesome, awesome class, uh, weekly Thursdays, uh, Thursday meditation. So every Thursday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So that's tomorrow at 9 o'clock. I invite you to a free healing meditation. Uh, oh, thank you, Teresa, for posting that for us. Yes, it's 20% off the class on June 15th for Brain Harmony. Thank you, dear. And uh, yes, tomorrow is our free healing meditation. We're going to be doing a rainforest, I believe, 
uh, oh, Forest and Stream. Forest and Stream is the title of our healing meditation tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. It is recorded, as is our Brain Harmony class is recorded, too. So if you can't make that live time, you can still access those recordings after our show. And we'd love to have you join us there. All right. And that's over at experts.omtimes forward slash dot com forward slash Julie Geiger. Okay. Are you going mad? Oh, Cicel, it's your birthday. Well, happy birthday, my dear. Bless, birthday blessings to you. Yay. And we're sending uh, healing for Muriel's dad. Uh, beautiful light. Sending a beautiful light to Muriel. Thank you, Muriel, for uh, joining us here this morning. All right. Now we're going to move into our discussion for today. Are you going mad? Our affirmation, if somebody wants to type this in the news feed, that would be awesome. I am a light being. I am a light being filled with infinite love. I am a light being filled with infinite love. Oh, Cecil, your birthday is June 15th. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Still a great day. I'm an infinite, I'm a light being filled with infinite love here to assist in this planet's ascension. Again, I am a light being filled with infinite love here to assist in the planet's ascension. Thank you so much for sharing that in the news feed with everybody. Oh, and the second piece to that, love is my superpower. Don't you love that one? Love is my superpower. That I love that one. That one really is pretty amazing. Okay, so we're going to talk about um, are you going crazy? No, you're not. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> you're not going crazy. You might feel like it. Trust me. I know. Um, but you're not. This is just a beautiful experience of awakening. And I do want to mention that... Uh, this whole month uh, with Archangel Metatron, I do channeling over on Ohm Times Radio, Angel Talk Tuesday, every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And Metatron, this month we've been talking about mental health. And every week the Pleiadians have come when I've uh, done channeling with Archangel Metatron. It is just amazing. The Pleiadians bring this beautiful energy. It just is this uh, calm, tranquil, um, beautiful, peaceful energy um, when we do the channeling with Archangel Metatron. And so they helped with an expansion. There was a special attunement during our channeling yesterday, and you can listen to that. Um, it's on my website, and it's over at Ohm Times Radio. We also talked about children, children and awakening. So it's important to remember medication as a last resort, not a first response. So when there's things going on with your children, when they're seeing things, when they're um, hearing voices, the first question to ask is, are, are they being told to do something um, bad? Or is, are they, uh, do they get a feeling of love? and peace or are they afraid is it something fearful or is the voice wanting them to uh, harm another person or harm themselves so that is a really even as adults even as um, people you know adult people that's the very first question you should be asking yourself when you're hearing voices in your head when you are seeing actually seeing things um, and this energy is wanting to connect with you this energy is wanting to communicate with you the first thing you want to check in ask yourself is this energy wanting to um, instill fear or self-harm or harming another person or is this energy benevolent where there's uh, no malicious intent at all they've just come for a connection or a communication so Light us. Uh, the spirit world will never, ever, ever ask you to do anything um, that is bad. They will never, ever ask you to do anything that you are afraid of or fearful. Uh, so, yeah, there's a combination of energies out there, and they want to communicate. And so just make sure that 
you are allowing and engaging with energies that are of a high frequency, high vibration. And also, uh, that's uh, we have a question here about um, voices during meditation. So a lot, a lot of times when you hear voices during meditation, you are accessing a higher consciousness. You are accessing another dimension. So oftentimes, we will have more clarity during our meditation or during those moments of presence and stillness in our lives. Um, but, you know, I do have to share, it too, that... When Metatron first came to me, <laughs> I was really scared. I was actually creeped out about the whole thing. And I'm like, who in the world is Metatron? And why can't, why can't I channel somebody everybody knows? Like Archangel Michael or, you know, Mother Mary, uh, some, somebody more common. And um, when I had, I had taken a psychic class, and uh, that night I had come home, I remember I was in the kitchen, and I felt this presence behind me. And it was very enormous. And I asked, and I was feeling bold because I just came from a psychic class. And I'm like, who's there? And I heard Metatron. And I didn't know who Metatron was. I was scared to death. And so I went back to class the next day and I asked my teacher. I said, do you know anybody by the name of Metatron? And she, her eyes popped open. She's like, yeah, why? And I'm like, well, he just showed up last night and kind of creeped me out a little bit. And then she said, you know, go Google him. He's a very uh, enormous, magnificent archangel. And he is amazing. And if he's come to work with you, it is an honor. It, absolutely an honor. And I have to say that I probably put that on the shelf for a couple of years because I... I I was not there yet. I was a school teacher and all this stuff was new to me and I just wasn't ready. Uh, so the another thing that Metatron talked about yesterday was you have total control. If things are going too fast, if you're getting scared or creeped out, you can ask the spirit world to slow down. Uh, you control how much comes to you or how less comes to you. So if they're coming too strongly or there's too much happening and you're getting scared or you're getting confused or you're, you know, it's disruptive for you, then you ask, you say, this is too much, you need to slow down. And for me, it's always God. My, my direct connection to the spirit world is God. So I say, God, you know, I want this, but I'm really scared. So, so help me, bring me energies that will help me transition into what it is that you desire. And what God did, actually, was he brought me Muhammad, Muhammad from the Bible. And um, I started channeling Muhammad. I channeled Muhammad probably almost a year before Metatron came in. And Muhammad was a much softer angel energy, and he was somebody uh, very similar to that Mother Mary energy and somebody I could really relate to because I'm an angel energy versus Metatron is not an angel energy that we think of. He's more of a Michael, Archangel Michael, very strong, powerful, forceful, um, more of a taskmaster, I call him. But anyway, anyway, I would love to hear how you're feeling. And we have a comment, somebody feels floating and um, kind of outside of their body. Um, that actually, it also is definitely signs of awakening, signs that you're tuning in and connecting to this other uh, dimension. Metatron was very, very um, uh, affirming about doing your research. So when things like this start to happen to you, it is very, very important um, for you to do your own research, go online, Find communities, find like-minded people, find places that you can talk about this and feel safe. And also, Metatron did encourage us to seek out medical counsel as you need to, because it is important to discern the difference between a mental illness and a spiritual awakening. I am not saying that all mental illnesses are a spiritual awakening by any stretch of the imagination here. But what I am saying is that the veil is lifting and 
we are beginning to be able to uh, communicate with the spirit world in a way that we could never before. And this isn't something to be scared of. This is something to embrace and uh, receive as you are ascending into the spiritual being that you came here to be, most definitely. And I'm telling you, I might have to have a part two on this topic because it is a hot topic. It is a hot topic. And so much, so much to cover here. Uh, last uh, thought I'm going to leave you with, uh, educate yourself because knowledge is power, again. And your expansion was planned before you arrived in this body on this planet. Your expansion was planned long before you arrived on this planet, long before. So everything is unfolding perfectly in divine and perfect order. Absolutely. And as you awaken, you will be shown, you will be told, people will show up to support you in your spiritual awakening. It is a beautiful, blessed thing. Listen, trust, and take guided action. Guided action. Absolutely. All right, and please know I will be going through the news feed after our show and answering each of your questions and comments. I love, love, love to connect directly with you like that after the show. Uh, so I'm not able to do that um, directly here during uh, while I'm talking, uh, but please know that I'm not ignoring you, that I love you to pieces, and I I'm showing up for you here today. I want to be here in your circle. I want to be here for you as you walk this journey of spiritual awakening. And thank you so much for the likes and loves, sharing this in our news feed, and uh, opening up uh, to this beautiful healing today. All right, and uh, last word before we do our free psychic reading. Coming up next is a free psychic reading. And what I want you to do is go ahead and post your first name and what deck you'd like. I've got healing, romance, messages, life purpose, archangels, and the fairy deck. So you can pick your deck or if you have a question, you can just post that in our news feed. And then after I talk about our classes, I'll come back and choose a lucky winner and give you a reading right now. All right, we do have our class uh, coming June 15th, Brain Harmony. We do have someone who posted that 20% off discount code in our newsfeed here. It is TKQYLU6G, 6G, as in Geigel. Uh, and that gives you 20% off our Brain Harmony class, which is going to help clear out any negative energy. If you're experiencing a spiritual awakening, if you're hearing voices, if you're seeing people and you're not sure, is this good or is this bad? This class is would be perfect for you. I can answer all those questions directly during the class. And we're going to do a, a beautiful hypnosis of group experience to help clear out any lower energy and move your frequency up to that place of love or above where nothing, nothing, nothing that is not love can get through. Uh, so that is June 15th, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And we have our free healing meditation class tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. It's free. Um, be sure to click on that link in the description, experts.omtimes.com forward slash Julie Geigel. You can register for that tomorrow morning at 9. We'll be doing uh, Forest and Stream. It's a, a very, very beautiful, relaxing meditation. And it's a healing, too. All right. Uh, we're ready. I'm ready for our um, winner. And our winner is Samuel. And Samuel would uh, like a spiritual path, spiritual way. All right, Samuel. Uh, romance. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You knew what I was going to say. Okay, here's our romance deck, Samuel. I want you to take a nice deep breath and relax, Samuel. I'm going to just shuffle the deck quickly for you as I tune into your energy. Just being open to receive here whatever messages the angels want you to know. All right, Samuel. Um, this is the card you got today. Release your ex. 
Okay, so what I'm seeing with this card, Samuel, is if you're in a relationship, um, it's time to move on. Or if you have an ex and you you still kind of ponder them in the background or you're still connected to them in some way, it's time to just let them go and move on. So there, th there is a person that is interfering in your life with your ability to find a romantic relationship that is in harmony with your soul's vibration. So it's really important to pay attention to this card. Release your ex. So that person is interfering with uh, your harmony in your relationship. And it, it is really important to try to release and let them go. Now, a beautiful technique that I've used with a huge success is anytime that person pops into your mind, because a lot of times, you know, we uh, break up with someone or they break up with us and we have a hard time moving on, even if we are the breaker upper and uh, that person might still be stealing our energy or still wanting to connect with us. And uh, this is a great way to disconnect from that energy that interferes with your ability to find peace in your current relationship and uh, what you do is anytime they pop into your mind you just feel fill them up with a beautiful white light and explode them out of your energy field um, so try this Samuel I hope you have some luck with that if you have any questions or need more clarification you can just uh, post that here in the news feed I'd be happy to uh, answer anything else you need to know uh, with the message I just shared with you right now. All right, dear. All right, my lovelies. Thank you so much for joining us here today on Wake Up Wednesdays. Are you going mad? Are you going crazy? I'm so honored, so honored that I could be here for you today in this beautiful healing space. May God's love bless you and keep you always. Mwah.